Baby, y'all, this is Ron, <clears throat> Ron Chester here in Nolens, Louisiana, home of the Popeye's chicken, delicious chicken. Um, I come here on Sunday evening to answer y'all's questions, so let me uh, get uh, some. There's some folks from uh, the last question time that answered on the wrong post, not naming names, Bob Benedetti and uh, Lori and Gil Gilbert. Gilberton. Um, Bob Benedetti says, Is the reason that Black Friday is so wild because it breaks up the tedium of people's <clears throat> drear lives and gives them purpose or excitement in their otherwise meaningless existence? Well, Bob, <clears throat> excuse me, it's because people are damn cheap. You say $50 on a TV that's like on sale a week later for like a hundred dollars less but everybody feels like they get this great deal they gotta go crazy going down to the big lots for the play of the recliner for 199 dollars save twenty dollars that ain't that ain't worth my time I, I don't do none of that i'd rather pay full price the comcast treat me well i i don't need to go down and be fighting nobody for no pair of 45 cent under bridges and uh, Lori asks, would it be offensive to change Black Friday to White Friday? I don't know why you would. It's just dumb. Just name it Friday with deals. We don't need to add no colors, no blacks, no whites, no yellows, no... Just make it Friday. Deal Friday. All right, on to the questions of the day. Apologize, I did not get to them yesterday. I was busy. Meeting some kinfolk down in the Houston area. And here we go. Tommy Blake says, What are those thing wingy things on the end of the airplane wings? What do they do? Well, Tom, they are there for decoration. They claim they're there for saving gas. And all the other BS they say, but they're really just to make the plane look pretty. They don't do nothing. Nothing at all. And those new funky um, scimitar ones are ugly as hell. Get those off. Get the, get the other kind that look like this. They look wonderful. They make them look pretty. The other ones are garbage. Carolyn Poulter. Why should I become an American citizen? Well, Carolyn... It is nice you came here from Mexico, but in America you you would love it here as a citizen. You get to vote and be legal and know the Pledge of Allegiance and all that fun stuff and hot dogs and hamburgers on the 4th of July. Then those Cinco de Mayo. So, Carolyn, that, that, that'd be the good reason you can become American. And... There's got to be something else. I don't know. Um, Joe, Angry Joe Nazar from Ypsilanti, Michigan, asks, are we getting in Atlanta base? No, we are not getting in Atlanta base. There is a better chance of getting a base on the moon than there is an Atlanta base. There are no Atlanta base coming. Sorry, Joe, Joe. No, no, College Park for you. No, hang with Ludacris and Big Boy and Andre 3000 in the College Park. No Atlanta base. Heard it here first. Tommy Blake again. What does Ron think of the earth-shattering possibility of a Comcast call center in Havana? Comcast se habla espanol. Well, Tom, I think it's bueno. Because they got them Cuban sandwiches and the, they'll have them in the cafeteria. And Ricky Ricardo will answer the phone, Lucy! So, uh, yeah, I, I think, yeah, uh, and they sing Bob Blue when you're on the hold. That's from I Love Lucy reference. I think some of y'all may not know that because you're a little young. And, uh, Will Shaw, what's the best way to cook a turkey? Well, Will. I'm glad you got off them relationship questions. Gone on to the real meat and potatoes. No pun intended. 
of the uh, the questions. Well, well, the best way to cook a turkey is I don't know. I don't never cook one before. You have a woman cook it because they are experts at cooking turkeys. That's what they, the good Lord done bless them with them cooking skills. Us, us gentlemen folk ain't got. We got the barbecue. Some folks can do that. You burn a steak so it turns into like a charcoal briquette. But it's some sort of manly thing. You got to be barbecue. But women, women folk, they know how to cook them turkeys. So you just go ask yourself a woman folk. And if one or two will slap you, just go to the third one. will probably answer you. Um, that's the good way to cook the turkey. Marco who comes to us from Espana. Marco asks, is Fidel really dead? Probably. I think he's been dead for 10 years. They just finally rolled him out. Maybe the freezer broke where they're keeping his body. I don't know. But I think Fidel is probably dead. Don't really matter. His brother's worse than he is. And Dora... The explorer Amadoa, who comes to us from Gahana, Africa, on the Ivory Coast of Africa, or Gold Coast, I don't know, it's the left side. She wants to know, do we really need daylight savings time? No, we do not. It's just a scam created by someone, I don't know, time thieves, I don't know, but stupid. Because you don't really lose an hour or gain an hour. I say you just leave it all there alone. I don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, I'm going to be late for work. Or I'm going to be too dang early. So no more daylight savings time in Ron's world. And Tom Blake, one more time, asks, We the people demand five, whole five question on the state of Ron's union. I'm kind of confused, Tommy. Are you talking about my like personal union? Like marriage which I mean you read my biography you know that Lindy and I got divorced so there is no union are you talking about the country of Rontopia I don't know you need to be more clear son well uh, y'all have a good night and I'll talk to you later good night y'all <laughs>